And welcome to Yarn Lane. The birthday fun continues even on Yarn Lane. So if, you, if you've if you only just started watching with us, we, it's our birthday on Sewing Street. So you might, well, that's why we've got all these balloons. If you've been with us all morning, you'll know how excited I am about Yarn Lane's show. So the birthday continues. If you check out on Yarn Lane today um, or on the website, then you still will be eligible to receive the mug and the badge and be in the prize draw for Sewing Street, just in case you're confused. So, um, we have got a brand new company today, Wolfature, who we haven't shown on Yarn Lane before, but I've been speaking to, well, since we, before we even launched Yarn Lane, I've really wanted to work with them because I absolutely love their kits. They do knitting kits and crochet kits. They do garments, toys, blankets, all sorts of things. But what I really wanted to do was get knitting toys. We've had lots of crochet toys that have been really popular, but I know there's a lot of you knitters out there and they want to do knitted toys. And of all the knitted toys, I love these as you can see, just love them. So I've been working with um, Claire from Wilkature who owns it and talking about what their popular um, toys are and she's told me which are the most popular colours and toys and they are just go gorgeous, gorgeous. So we have got seven kits for you today. Where shall we start? Let me start with the cat because I love the cat. This is Mabel the cat. And we have Mabel the cat in two colourways. This colourway is mink and we also have Mabel in grey. Mabel in grey is sitting um, over on the other table with Carrie, who we're going to join in a minute. It's going to show us how to make them. Oh, look. Oh, she's Chloe. No, Mabel's the bunny. Chloe the cat. Chloe the cat, Mabel the bunny. This is Chloe. And she's got, look at her whiskers. This is Mink Chloe. So let me show you what's in the kit. First of all, put my glasses on. I used to just sit there a minute. Don't move. They're really, really squidgy. So this is the kit that you get. I've taken the lid off, but look, it all comes in a beautiful, great if you want to buy it for a gift. Beautiful, brand new to us today, wool couture. Everything you need is in here, apart from the needles. We didn't put the needles in because I know a lot of you at home have the needles. You need four mil and 3.25 mil, which these are the needles. They are, they're common sizes, but we've put them on the website. So if you want to buy them, just um, scroll down on the website, you can see them. If you need, want to shop with us, the easiest way to do it is to go onto yarnlane.com, go onto the website, click on watch live. Then below that, you can see all the kits, all on pre-order and the needles should you need them, okay? So you can just um, click on, add to basket and then you've got it. The other way to do it is, is if you phone our phone line 0800 4700 if you want to speak to someone in our UK call centre and order on the phone. So that's the two ways of shopping with us. So the needles are on there and all the kits. Anyway, let's open the kit. So in the kit you get the instructions, how to make Chloe the kitten, Right, quarter of the stock for the Mink Chloe has already gone into basket. So, you know, we haven't even started, we haven't even, we haven't even met Carrie who's going to be showing us the demo. We've got a brand new demonstrator as well today. More exciting. Brand new kits, brand new demonstrator. It's all, it's all exciting. Right, there's all the instructions, the whole pattern, everything you need, how to make Chloe the kitten. In the kit beautiful yarn that we'll talk about a bit more later all the yarn you need and the stuffing and even like a little bundle of the black yarn to make the nose and the um, eyes and the toenails or on their claws on toenails they're not toenails they're claws <laughs> everything that everything that you need is in the kit and even a wool needle for sewing sewing them up isn't that lovely? This wool is just beautiful. It's so soft. It's 50% um, merino, 50% acrylic. It's, th it's their own yarn that's spun for them in, York in Yorkshire. It's called Bow Baby, which means that you can put it in the washing machine. Very gentle wash, obviously, but it is fully washable. It's a double knit yarn. It's spun in Yorkshire, especially for wool couture, called their Bow Baby, but it's ever so soft and really squidgy. You can just imagine children just holding them by the, ha the paw hand or by the tail even the tail's got a little bit of stuff in they're just lovely so that is um the kitten chloe kitten in mink 
And we've also got him, her, her, I think it's a girl because it's Chloe, in grey. And there's the grey yarn. So exactly the same in the kit. Look, look at her in the grey. So cute, she's gorgeous. And that's in the grey yarn. And you've got the needle and the stuffing and the and you've got the um, cream that's used for the ends of the paws. Right. Now Mabel is the bunny, not the kitten. So Mabel is really sweet. She's got really, really long out ears. <laughs> oh, we're still on the kitten. The kitten. That's a lovely picture, isn't it? Really cute. <laughs> so this is um, Mabel the bunny is available in grey and pink. There's pink. Look. Pom-pom, pom-pom tail. It's really sweet. So you've got in the kit, you've got the full knitting pattern, just exactly the same as the cat. All the knitting pattern, everything you need to know is in there. Um, you've got the bow baby yarn, beautiful merino wool acrylic mix, really, really soft, the stuffing. You've got a little bit of black for the eyes, a little bit of grey for the nose. And they're knitted, but they're beautiful, aren't they? They look like the sort of thing that you'd buy in a really expensive children's boutique. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Really gorgeous. And I love the way I think a child, a child would really love this because it's so squidgy. It's even got a li little tummy button. <laughs> and a big pom-pom for its tail. I love that. And um, we've also got... Mabel Bunny in grey. And Mabel Bunny in grey has got a pink nose and black eyes. You've got the beautiful grey yarn, cream yarn for the nose and the paws, all the stuffing and a needle and full instructions. And although, I mean, they're beautiful quality merino wool, but it's acrylic as well, which means you can wash it which I think is really important when you're making toys for children, is it would be if you couldn't wash them, hmm, they are going to be very, very loved and very, very used. But maybe you know someone's having a new baby. What a perfect gift for them because there's no loose parts. All the um, features are embroidered on. Or, or someone who loves rabbits. Doesn't have to be for a child. Could even make one for Mother's Day, couldn't you? The kit, because it's so beautifully packaged, is a wonderful gift too. Next, I'm going to meet Robin the octopus. I love Robin the octopus. Now, Robin the octopus is available in two colourways. Um, we've only got the grey because the blue one is still swimming in Germany and couldn't come back over in time. So we have got an image of the bloom, but this is the grey one. He's so soft and squidgy. And look at his t tentacles. And they're really, they've got all these bobbly bits. Chloe, um, Harry's going to show us in a minute how to make the tentacles. But they are, it's just beautiful, isn't he? So this is the, this is the grey kit. So again, you get the pattern. You get the, the stuff. It's in the Bow Baby yarn, beautiful merino acrylic mix. You've got the bit of the black that goes for the eyes. And you've got the cream and the grey for the body. We've also got Robin... Robin in blue. Hang on, we have got a picture of Robin in blue. So that's Robin in grey. <laughs> and then, oh, there, so this is Robin. This is the kit for Robin in blue. Really beautiful baby, baby blue. Exactly the same thing, all the same. But there, that's a picture. Look how long the tentacles are. He's so lovely, isn't he? You can imagine you could just easily carry him round by one. I think children will absolutely love him. Look great in your bathroom as well. And I just love the way that they, the um, kits are boxed. Everyone's been thought thought about about this. Will Couture really specialise in what people want, what their customers want. Um, Claire, who owns it, you know, understands exactly. She spent a long time developing the yarn and the patterns. They are beautiful. They are made by knitters for knitters. So a quarter of the stock of Blue Robin 
went before we even got on to him. So if you do want one, I would suggest you put it in your basket and check out. And finally, finally, you're going to love this one. Actually, I haven't got that one. Uh, we'll have to show that. That one's on the other desk. I'll show that. Is Lucy the Unicorn. So this is the kit. I'm just lying out wrong. Uh, but we've got, she's on the other desk, so I should get carried to show it to you in a minute. So in the kit are the full instructions. Look, there's a picture of Lucy. And I love her. She's so cute. She's knitted mainly in the cream yarn. But then she's got grey for her horns and her and her feet. There's the horn. But she's her um, mane is all knitted in this beautiful pink and blue. And it goes all the way down her back. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Gorgeous. And then there's a little bit of black for her eyes. I think she is absolutely stunning. And then in the kit, you get the full instructions, you get all the stuffing, you get the wool needles. So the only thing you don't get is the knitting needles, but they are on the website because I know a lot of you have them already. The instructions are brilliant. The pattern makes a lot of sense. You've got pictures, but they are so, so soft and squidgy, but it's merino wool. A merino will you wear because it's so soft, but the acrylic in it means you can wash it. So they are all made from the same Bow Baby yarn, which is made specially for um, wool couture in West Yorkshire, and it is gorgeous. So that's all the kits. Let's all the kits. Let's get on with the knitting. So welcome to Yarn Lane, Carrie. Thank you so much. And your so first nice show with us ever. So we've got a new company, new demonstrator. Thank you. I'm really pleased. I'm so pleased that you asked me to demonstrate these. They're just, they're just so gorgeous. And I just love just the softness. And like you were saying- Oh yeah, show us Lucy. Just, yeah, here she is, look. Can you see her little horn and her, and her lump? So she has a mane mm. and a tail that's in this lovely loopy. All in that loopy. pink and blue. It's, it's so, so lovely. And it goes around, so you're knitting enough length, length that you're stitching it in certain places and it goes around her horn and down and then you've got a tail as well. <laughs> so, cute. so cute. So how did you find the kits and the instructions? I loved it. I loved the fact that, like you were saying, it's just, I mean, they came and I just thought, this is just beautiful. What a lovely way to, yes, to, for this to arrive. And with everything in there, it's been mm. so well thought out with your little bits of yarn for the um, for noses, for claws, etc., And then you've even got a darning needle, so I didn't have to go hunting around for a darning needle. Yeah, it's they right have there. really thought of everything, yeah, haven't they? Yeah, I love they? it. And the patterns, like you were saying, they're really well written, really well thought out. I didn't have any problems with, you know, coming to something mm. new and just having a go with, with knitting them. So, and I love So them. are they, if, if you, maybe you've knitted, but you've never knitted a toy, would, would you be able to do it? Yeah, yeah, I really think so, because of the way it's written, the only thing that is slightly different with these, most of them are knitted through the back loop. And if you oh, look okay. at the texture of them, they don't look, this is garter stitch. This is knitting everywhere. Yeah. They have they don't, a crochet look to they them, do, don't, don't they? they? Yeah. They don't look like normal garter stitch and that's because they're knitted through the back loop. Oh, okay. So each stitch is knitted through the back loop, unless you're on the nose of say the cat right. or the rabbit. And that gives them that sort of density. Yeah. Robin is not knitted through the back right. loop. Right. That's why I think he, she, is a bit more squishy. So these are lovely and squishy because they're not stuffed too much. Yeah. They're understuffed which gives them that well, floppy, the arms squishy... Well, the are free, aren't they? Yeah, just, you just stuff yeah. the bottom. Which is, makes them so appealing. Yeah, it's lovely. Whereas Robin is mm. knitted straight garter stitch and, um, and so has that... I mean, he's, a, he's an octopus. She's an octopus. Got to be a bit more squishy, I think. A bit more floppy. Yes, Whereas yes, this, definitely. they hold, although they're lovely and soft, they really hold their... Hold their shape. Yes, whereas the octopus is more about legs. Yeah, yeah, those tentacles are just divine, aren't they? I love I just, them. <laughs> I love the tentacles, they're lovely. Yeah. So where do we, where do we start then, in, okay. in general, with all of the animals? Okay, in general, with all the animals, they all, I mean, you, you start knitting, they've all got slightly different construction. Robin is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave Robin to last. Okay. Okay, so um, the, Rabbit, uh, you've got Mabel and and uh, Chloe. Those are knitted through the back loop. You're creating each part separately um. and then you're sewing them up together. So you are 
knitting through oh, the can back. Can you just pick up the cat? Because Chloe, oh, um, she's, Chloe's she's fallen she's over. She's fallen. Oh no. Chloe's sort of. They're so soft. They're just quite slippery <laughs> in here. There we. Is that? Are they gonna? Oh. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Chloe's having a sleep. She's just yeah, having maybe a, just lie her Just down. having a little she rest. She looks like she's having a little. A they little. look like three mates in on a bench, don't yeah, they? Yeah, a little rest. That, <laughs> okay, right, that's fine now. <laughs> so, um, what I was going to show you mm. were two things, just with um, with Chloe and Mabel, just the knitting through the back loop. Yeah, I think that's really it. Yeah. I, I'm trying to think whether I've done that. I don't know. You probably will have done it when you have been increasing. So you know when you increase and you knit in the front oh, yes, and you knit yeah. in the back. That's knitting in the back. Oh, okay. We're knitting in the back throughout, but we are also doing some increasing, which is where you have to really read your instructions because you've got, I mean, all the abbreviations are set out in your pattern. Anyway. Okay, so it's all So you've in, got... Yeah. Everything you need to know is there. So instead of, we would usually put our, put our needle straight through into the, into the front of the stitch there. Yeah, that's but we're not doing soon. that. We're taking it to the back, straight away. We're not purling. We're not I purling down move, like this. If you look on the screen, Can I come this way? In. There we go. Oh, sorry. Perfect. There we go. So, this so is we're the taking mink it to the back. Of... Yes, this is the yeah. mink. This is what Chloe, uh, the cat, comes in as well as grey. So we're taking it to the back. Yeah. And just knitting. It's exactly oh, how we... Okay. We're not knitting in the front, front there. You just take it to the so back. So it's just like when you increase and you go in the front and the back, but exactly. you just go in the back. Exactly. So you go all the way along, knitting into the back. And that's what gives it that lovely twist and that lovely kind of crochet look, which is just such a simple, simple technique. And that's what I've really loved about all of these patterns. They've all got just that little something different mm. and such a that nice... That probably becomes quite natural after a while yeah. and then you've got, it kind you of go back to normal. Exactly. <laughs> I found that. I have found that. I found myself. It's like when you've been crocheting for a long time and then you go to a knitting project and you start trying to crochet your knitting. I've done that. Mm. I've, I've started yeah, knitting through the imagine, back. Yeah, yeah. So, so there we are. There's a row and of knitting through. And that gives you that real, um, yeah, sort of more of a solid garter stitch, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Whereas it's, you know, garter stitch is known for its stretchiness. Mm. This technique is just giving you that lovely texture, but also a bit more structure. So I'm going to show you just a knitting through the back loop, but then also a, an increase. So most of the increases on um, the cat and on Chloe the cat and Mabel the rabbit are knit through the front and the back. So we knit. Oh, this is increasing. Yeah, increasing. So we knit through the front, don't take it off, go to the back, and knit into the back loop. There you are, like that. So I'll do that one more time. So you're going in through the front as you would normally if you were knitting right. normally. Right, so when you increase you do it as normal front as and back. As normal front right. and back, yeah. And then take it to the back and knit through the back. And that's how you're increasing. And okay. that's how these lovely ears, where you've got that lovely definition there, and the, the quick increasing gives you that lovely shape. I like the way they're double-sided as well. Yeah. Because they're really nice, solid ears. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I know yeah, you shouldn't carry animals see. by the ears, oh, I, but I, I think see. you would. Do you know what? The, re the fact that I came here with all, f all, of the, <laughs> all of the demos is, frankly, a miracle because my children just love them. Mm. They love them. And like you say, the fact that they are merino and acrylic is brilliant because they are you going know to be very to well loved. Yeah, they are going to be well washing. loved. So, um, but she has a unicorn screen. I know, my but daughter she is lovely, just loves isn't that unicorn. She? I yeah. love Lucy. So that's the knitting through the front and the back. When you are, um, the other thing to say about the um, Chloe cat and, and Mabel the rabbit bunny is that um, when you're um, decreasing, just just take, be aware, just read your pattern really well is what I'm going to say. Okay. Because, where especially, I'm going to show you an ear that I've knitted, so I'm just going to move that to one side. I'm going to show you, this is a little ear. Of Chloe is that the a cat. cat ear? This is a cat ear. Can you see? Chloe the cat in mink is very limited, so if you want to, like four. So <laughs> if you want her, you need to buy her. It's a gorgeous <laughs> colour. It's a really gorgeous colour. I love it. So can you see? Can you see this this shaping yes, here? Yes, like that sort yeah. of triangle. So that shape. is is made by slipping a stitch, okay. knitting two stitches together. And passing the slip stitch over, and you must be must make sure that your you do your in, your decreases that way. It's tempting to just knit 
perhaps knit two together twice, but you won't get this beautiful shaping. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's not it's not like difficult. Then you just it's need to difficult. do it the just way need, they say, exactly, and not the way because you would then normally. The ears, so now that I've got this lovely shaping, I've come to the top and you have two stitches left at the top. Right. And I've threaded my darning needle through. So through those two loose stitches there. And then what you do is you fold it on those on that shaping. Oh, okay. And you've got your little triangle ear. And yeah, straight away. And it's at the front. You can't, the, the, the sewing is so beautiful. See, actually, I was looking, I can't, I was thinking, where it's is it It's on the front, it's on the centre front. You can't see you it, can't can you? can't see it, no, it's really beautiful. Very, very, but again. That's amazing. If you have a look at the, um, at the instructions, the instructions are to use mattress stitch, which is picking up from either side, picking up a stitch from either side. And I have to say, again, I think because of the yarn is so beautiful and because you've, you've stitched, uh, because you've used the garter stitch, it's quite forgiving as well because mm. you've got loops to be able to sew it up with. My sewing is probably not going to be as neat. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. But it's a lovely quality. But I it's think such a lovely quality. So whether you give the the um, kit to somebody or the knitted toy to somebody, it's a fantastic gift. It isn't really it? is. I'd or love just keep it for yourself. Oh gosh, I'd love to receive something like this. How lovely! Really, really nice. Mm. I love. Them. I'd have the octopus in my bathroom. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me images of your bathroom. I'm loving it already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's posh enough for him. But he would make it look so much better. I'd sit him on top of my he's, bathroom cabinet. Yeah, it's so tactile as well. It reminds me of those um, those little creatures that people have been making for premature babies with the tentacles and things that they yes. can hold on to. Yeah, you know, it's because lovely, they are, isn't it? They're so tactile. So there we are. I've just I've just gone through just stitching a little loop. My tail keeps getting in the way. I apologise. But actually, I mean, that's... My sewing is not. That's really That's not neat. too bad, but is it? But that's obviously the pattern. That's why I was saying at the yeah. beginning, you know, these are beautifully designed yeah, they are. products. They've really thought through the instructions. They really have, you can tell. They've used yeah. yarn that is the right yarn mm -hmm. so that it's soft. Yeah. It's suitable for children. I mean, it is, they are, really, That's this is why I've been wanting to work with them because yeah. they're yeah, so great. They're perfect. They're perfect. They're just so lovely. And, um, and like you say, so soft. Um, and every little pattern. So if you were, if you've been a knitter for a quite a while, mm. I'd say that these will give you the interest. That, you know, sometimes when you're just knitting something, you're just getting through it, aren't you? Something. Yes, yeah. But these are giving you the interest as well because they've each got a little technique that you might not have done before, you haven't done for a mm. while, um, and you think, oh, actually, that's that's lovely. That's really clever. Yeah, I like yeah, the that's way lovely. they've done that. It's really clever. So. Um, the other thing I'm going to show you, are you, do you want to stick with the rabbit? And don't mind, don't, don't mind. mind. Um, I want to show you, because we, we admired uh, Lucy the unicorn and her Lucy. gorgeous, her gorgeous name. Yeah, so Lucy's only available in one colourway, but that's because unicorns are cream. They have to be cream. <laughs> it's the law. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> All unicorns are cream. They are, yeah. Um, so you're knitting this length. When I first saw it, I thought, okay, that's that's a loop stitch. That's where you, you is it knit. all loose the um the main and the it's sewn here at the neck right sewn onto the neck and up the head. So this bit is loose oh, that comes so down the back. Oh. The bit that comes down the back here is loose. Mm. Oh, that's really nice, isn't it? But it's stitched along the head here and it goes around to give you the forelock as well there. And um, and then your tail is separate. So when I first saw it. Being that I've knitted for quite a few years, I thought, oh, that's a loop stitch. I, I know how, what I'm doing there. That's a loop stitch. You knit around your thumb to create mm. the loop. You don't do that. Oh, okay. It's not. It's, it's, it's brilliant. It's such <laughs> a brilliant. I'm really impressed. It's such a brilliant technique. Ooh. I'm going to put her. Is she going to be in the way if I put her? I'm going to pop her back here, over here. There we go. Sit you there, Lucy. And the cat's gone again. She's, she's tired. <laughs> She's tired. They are like three, <laughs> three old friends sitting At on the a bus bench. stop. Yeah. So the way that you you knit the um, the mane and the tail is using the pink and the blue, like you were saying, and you're knitting. Um, I think we've cast on six stitches here. You can see I've already done a, a little demo. So I've got six stitches and two rows of each colour, and don't have to worry about um, about breaking your yarn. Just travel it up the side. Oh, because you you do an alternate. Yeah, and you can see if I don't if I'm, you can see the way I've travelled it up the side there. Okay. You don't need to worry about that, but you're not going to see it once it's once it becomes her mane. So, I'm going to go ahead and just do two more rows, and this is straight knitting, garter stitch, 
We're not going through the back loop, we're just doing normal knitting. So I've done, I don't know how many rows I've done here, I just carried on, just wanted to do a little demo for you because it's really clever the way that this is done. And it's not, if you're looking at it and thinking, that is a lot of loop stitch I've got to knit there. It's, it's not, you don't have to do, it's not that much work I promise, because this little trick is brilliant. So there we go, I've knitted those two rows. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit the first stitch and then, horror of horrors, I'm going to take all four off and I'm <coughs> going to leave them and I'm going to knit the last stitch and I'm going to cast it off. So draw the yarn through, let's grab my little scissors here and snip it off. And snip off the other colour as well, which I've just forgotten to do. Leave yourself quite a nice long tail because then you, you can use those to sew, it, sew them in. Right, okay. In the right place. And then what we do is we just ladder. <gasps> I, know. I know, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. We just ladder. Every knitter out there is going, <gasps> I know. So what I haven't done, and I can do a little bit of, but um, I'm not the fastest sewer as you saw back there. Let's grab the darning needle I had before. So what we need to do is to sew down the side. Oh, nice message from Bethany. I can knit, but not a knitter these days. However, these gorgeous toys make me want to get knitting again. Oh, Just gorgeous. oh good. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. I said on Sewing Street earlier, anything that reignites your passion for knitting, sewing, crocheting, whatever, oh, is gosh. good. Absolutely. Because knitting and any crafting is very good for you. It's so good for your mental Keeps health. Keeps you sane and happy. Yeah. yeah. Weren't they saying on the? I'm sure there was an article in the newspaper at the weekend saying how people with hobbies have found um, lockdown so much easier to cope with mm. because of that. It Some of us are like, thank God. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I don't have to go yeah, out. Brilliant. Exactly. I can just, I can stay at home and knit. Oh, thank goodness. What? Like, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't brilliant. make it Saturday night. Shame. <laughs> oh, I've got a really big tail to knit. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> can't. No, I've oh, got a tentacle. Pleasure, I'm on my seventh tentacle. Just can't, can't make it. This sorry. Weekend, so looks sorry. Like I'm too bad. Stay in knit. So I'm not going to go through all the way down. But you get the idea. You don't have to be te as nice. Oh, so you, you fold it round. So you together. fold it over and you and you sew together that edge there, where we've cast we've cast off the first and the last stitches, and then we have you know don't panic. We've let go of those stitches. So what you're doing is just wow, unraveling. How did they work that out. It's just so clever. I love it. I absolutely love it. No, I love that. Just laddering it down. That's all you're doing. You're laddering it down. And at first, you might think, oh gosh, it's going to end up in a big old mess. It won't, I promise. You won't end up in a big mess. And if you do, well, you just pull it at a slightly different angle. And because her tail is a lovely, messy, loopy, mm. you know, just gorgeousness. So you just keep pulling. You just keep laddering down. And then and you pulling. end up with a and then you end up with a big loopy you can see it starting there. That's brilliant. It's cute, isn't it? That's also like you're saying. It's really interesting to knit. I th and I think you can often tell people who design knitting patterns who really get it because then yeah. they make it more interesting and yeah, think, well, this absolutely. has got to be or learn. It's nice to learn something new as well. Yeah, I've never I've never done this before. As I say, when I first saw it, I thought that's quite a lot of the loop stitch that I've got to do. That I better <laughs> I better get cracking quickly. <laughs> oh no, oh no, it's not. It's brilliant, and it is explained really, really well in the pattern. It's it's absolutely brilliant, and you can see. Look, it's just laddering down. It takes a little bit of working, and if you've got that long length, it's going to take you a few, you know, yeah, a, a twenty minutes to perhaps get it right. And you mm. might still just titivate a little bit afterwards with some of your loops. You could even use you know, your, your needle if yeah, you want just to. Yeah, if you want to you get could them, use your darning how messy needle. you want it. Yeah, exactly. But these colours go so beautifully together as well. Um, they I do, actually. Love I love this Bow Baby range because all the colours yeah. in it are very soft, aren't they? They're really soft, pastel-y colours. They're beautiful. I like the grey, though. I think I'm, the grey is a I'm, really nice colour. I'm partial it? to a bit of grey. <laughs> 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 I am partial to a bit of grey. So, yeah, they're absolutely lovely. But there you go. So I'm just... I'm not going to show you all the way down, but that's just how it how it goes. Um, and then you would sew, so you'll have this little patch. Oh, I had my little, I had a little sample that I did for you, but anyway, I'm not sure where it's gone. Um, mm -hmm. So once you've got that sewn down there, that's the part that you're then going to sew oh, on. Oh, so you've got quite a nice, you've got a nice spine, strip. If you sort of mean to sew a on, solid strip. Yeah, can you see? Yes. There. Oh, and then the, that would be the loose bit. Yeah. For, his, for the yeah. tail. So there, and then yeah. So the tail, you're just 
you're just stitching on at the top mm. there and as I say you I mean, but the pattern explains it really well and tells you exactly where to stitch it and how to bring it around the horn which you'll knit in the grey and then and then down and just lovely and loose and and just it's just floppy. So floppy I cute. do like the way that I think that the legs aren't stuffed yeah. but the feet are. Yeah, it makes the difference. And the arms as well. And the other thing I was really impressed with was um, because once you've once you've knitted or crocheted um, an animal like this, you know, sometimes you think, oh, I've got to, now I've got to sew it all yeah. together. <laughs> mm. Now I've got to Which sew this all together. Which takes twice as long as the actual knitting. But I don't think it will in this case because you're, you're creating your pieces and then you sew them across, so you sew them flat along here and it tells you exactly where. So once you've got your, your body and your head and you've got those, um, you know, one top of the other, just sewn those on, it then tells you exactly where to position and it's just a couple of rows down here and here. Yeah, so you haven't got and to exactly sort of squint at the no, photo and work and exactly out how to where, do it. And that's where that, um, that lovely stitch comes in handy as well, because you've got the lovely defined stitch on your, on your knitted through the back loop garter stitch. It's really easy to tell where does to it, put them. Does the, um, if you pick up the grey bunny, mm. does, does she have a tummy button as well? A tummy, I heard you say that and I was like, I don't, don't notice. But mm. this one has, maybe that's an optional tummy button then. <laughs> an optional. It's really the, sweet. What you might be seeing at the bottom there, is that increase you know I was talking about the increasing and making sure that you're you're reading the instructions and not going willy-nilly with you it's thinking I know best how to increase and decrease read the instructions and make sure that you're increasing and decreasing how they're telling you to because then you get this lovely shaping and it's even as well and all of the really lines fat bunny I know so cute well, look at that little pot belly <laughs> it is so, so cute I think this one's just had its little tummy button just put in. But I, th <laughs> I think maybe yeah it's yeah. really sweet isn't it <laughs> And the pom pom at the back there. <laughs> How cute is that? I love that. Yeah, it's half the size of his head. It's fantastic. But it should be. It's absolutely it should be. fantastic. But I can just imagine, like you were saying, a little one just, just holding mm. it by the ear. It's so cute. I love it. Um, so, yeah, uh, as I was saying earlier on, all of it, the, the cat and the, and the rabbit, they're all knitted through the back loop, unless you're doing this little nose area. Okay. That is quite um, quite quick increasing to get that nice cone shape and your knitting um, stocking stitch there. You can see it. You can just about see it. it does so look is this different. where you start the head from this point yeah. or is that sewn yeah. on? No, you start, you start from here. Okay. Obviously your pink nose wouldn't be there. That's embroidered That's on That's embroidered after. on afterwards. You start from here and you do stocking stitch for this, um, this part here. Mm. Quite a lot of increasing. Um, in a, in a, just a couple of rows and then you change colour to the grey and um, that's when you start going through the back loop and so it's only once you've finished the whole thing that you would embroider on this nose and little eyes and things. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so that's, that's them, they're super cute. Love them. And again, you know, with the, um, with the feet as well, just the way they're... Oh, I, I just love everything. About and that's that. done in the back. <laughs> that's the they're, done they're, in the back They're loop knitted through the back well. loop. Yeah, it's the same. You can see it's the same texture if you hold it up. So kind of the, the oh, tummy there, it's the, the same air. texture. It's just that um, that nose, which gives it a lovely definition, doesn't it? You've got that lovely cone shape definition, which you might not actually get in a, with a garter stitch, um, if you did that in garter stitch. But you've got that lovely definition for the cone of the nose, and mm. then coming back. And you, obviously, you if you have a look, at, take a look at the back. I mean, whoever's sewn these up, they're just beautifully done. But you're you're sewing your cast uh, cast on and cast off edges. Also, your side seam, it wouldn't be your cast iron. And is that done in mattress stitch again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and again, because it's knitted in garter stitch, you can quite easily pick up the loops. You can see exactly where you need to, to do your stitching. And you can see you've got a little seam there. But do you know what? Even if you weren't the most perfect sewer, mm. that, it's just that lovely homemade... Yeah, I think so. I think the Homemade guy, feel about it. Yeah, but it. it sort of disappears, doesn't it? It does as well. with this stitch. It's quite forgiving, isn't it? Yeah. But it looks like, you know, when you go to these really expensive children's boutiques and they've always got a few knitted oh, animals yeah, and that's what they look like, absolutely. don't they? Absolutely. They all do. Yeah, so I think great. for twenty five ninety nine, I think mean, that's an absolute bargain. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that's that's them. Um, shall, we, shall we have a look at the, the octopus. Robin the octopus? Let's look at Robin. I have knitted a tentacle. <gasps> 
Wow. So Each half the stock of both have checked out already. Uh -huh. I'm not surprised. Oh, I so, like the blue. I know, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I thought I'd... Well, yes, it was the one that I couldn't get the, the sample from because yeah. he's abroad. So I thought, well, why not <laughs> knit you a, a tentacle sample? Yes, <laughs> if nothing else. he is abroad. In the, in the blue. So this is what they look like when you, when you knit them up. You, you knit up yes. your tentacles first. Okay. There are. Eight of them. Eight tentacles. <laughs> yeah, count them. Eight. You knit up your tentacles first. And this lovely shaping, can you see how it kind of, you can only just about see the blue down here. And it's got that lovely shaping. That's done with a wrap and turn. If you've knitted socks before, then you'll know what a wrap and turn right. is. It gives you some shaping because you're only working on, so these stitches here, in this section here, won't have been worked on as much as these stitches here. That's why we've got that beautiful shaping. Okay. And then we've got the bobbles, obviously, and I'm going to go th go over both of those. And then if you, what happens is that you would sew along here, sew along here, and that's your little tentacle that you've made. And the construction is that mm. you would knit all of your tentacles first, and then you start you knit you incorporate these blue stitches. So once you've once you've sewn this together. You would cast on some stitches from you pick up some stitches along here and then you'd cast on a few stitches then you go to your next tentacle pick up the stitches cast on a few. okay so there. you knit the blue first you knit the tri the tentacles first and then you knit the yeah the balloon at the, the top oh, okay and then you knit the bottom and you sew that together so how do you make a tentacle well let's let's have a look <laughs> so i haven't gone i haven't I haven't cast on all the stitches no, no. that you would need for a tentacle. We could be here for some time. We could be. We um, just, uh, just I'm just play a bit of music while we knit a whole tentacle. Yeah, knit that there. So I'll leave that there. Um, I'm using circular needles just because that's what I use at home. But you don't have to use circular needles for the, doing the wrap and turn or the bobbles or mm. anything. It's not. It's not a requirement. Um, so I've cast on. I think I've got around. 26 stitches here something like that because I just wanted to show you how to do wrap and turn and then how to do the bobble so I've knitted let me just count to me 15 okay I'm going to go to 18 and this is knitted this is garter stitch as I was saying straight garter stitch not, no, back loop. not knitting through just the back normal. loop so I've done an extra three stitches there now what I'm going to do I need to wrap my next stitch because I don't want to work these ones anymore I want to create depth here but leave this thin that's how we've got that we're creating the depth there but leaving this bit just only worked a few times so what we do is we slip the stitch from the left hand needle to the right hand needle we bring the yarn from the back back to the front we put it back onto back onto the left hand needle and then you turn the needles around right and then you start knitting and that stitch is now wrapped. It doesn't create, you can, you can just about see where it's been wrapped. It's almost like you give it a little scarf, but it's somewhere nice. If we, if we didn't do that, we would end up with a buttonhole. So doing okay. the wrap and turn is a nice neat way of getting our yarn where we want it and back to the, to the right position so, so that we can start knitting back across. So I'm just gonna knit a few and then I'm gonna show you that wrap and turn again. And then I'm gonna show you the bobble. They're just so, so tactile, aren't they? Yeah, I know, I love bobbles. them. I love them. It's so realistic. <laughs> I know, for a knitted creature, pretty realistic. So let's go just back over here. Let's go to nearly the end. I'm gonna show you how to do wrap and turn again. So picking up the stitch, I'm not knitting it, I'm just picking it up from the left hand needle, picking it up onto the right hand needle, taking it from the back to the front and then picking it up again back over here and then I carry on knitting like so and that's it that's it we don't get scared by wrap and turn or, okay. or thinking that it's the technique and what's the purpose it's just, of that then it, the purpose is can you see on here we've got I've got maybe I mean I've got two four six eight I've got about nine to ten rows mm. of garter stitch here but if you carry on down carry on down Look, see that shaping? I've, yes. only, I've only got maybe two rows of garter stitch here on this blue. Yes. That's because I've wrapped and turned about here, or about here. You wrap and turn at slightly different places on different, different rows. And because of that, I haven't worked these stitches as much 
on as many rows oh, I see because I've mean. stopped before I got to the end yes. of the row. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that makes so sense. So stop before I get to the end of the row and then I just carry on making those ones and that's what gives it that gorgeous shape rather than just straight down and all being the same length, you've got this beautiful shape and they kind of curl around a little bit as well. That's which really, is really nice, lovely. isn't it? Yeah, no, they do. They, they definitely curve around it. They're very realistic. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how to do a bobble now. And there are a couple of different techniques to knitting a bobble. It depends how big you need a bobble. Um, this one, again, in the pattern, written beautifully, and I followed it really well and just, just follow the pattern. It just works. Say. Yeah. So okay. once you get to the place where you want to make a bobble, you knit into the front and the back, similar to the technique that we used on the increase for the rabbit's ear or the, or the um, cat's ear. So you knit into the front and the back of that stitch and we're going to knit into the front and the back of the next stitch as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn. We're going to turn and we're going to just work on these four stitches. We're just going to purl them. So purl one, two, three, four, like so, and then we turn it again. So just make sure that you're, you're keeping track of where you are, that you're make, keeping track of, I'm just working on four stitches and I just need to turn back and forth. Now we're going to knit two together. So we've done the increase, the rapid increasing, purled the back, and now we're going to decrease them again. So we're going to decrease by knitting two together twice. So we knit two together twice. At this point, a little trick, just push, your, push the bobble out with your finger. Okay. Push, push it out with your finger before you're doing a little cast off, essentially. You're taking the, this stitch here and passing it so over. So it holds it better. Holds the bobble nicely. And by pushing it out, you've got it in the right position and you've, it, just, it just secures it and it just makes a bit more of your bobble. So I'm gonna knit one in between those and I'm just gonna show you another bobble. So knit front and back of one, two stitches, knitting to the front and the back, and then we turn the knitting. Yarns at the front, so that's a little clue. We need to purl those ones. One, oh sorry, I've just twisted it there. One, two, three, and four. Turn again, because we're only working on those four stitches for a few moments. Knit two together, knit two together, and then pass this stitch, pu push your bobble out, and slip that one over there like that. And there are two little bobbles. Oh, that's really clever. Can you move that out of the way, you might be able to see them a little bit better. Yeah, and that's all you're doing all the way along there. So you start at cream, you start at cream, you cast on, start you with your cream. You need to just move that so then you can. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Perfect. I'm not used to it yet, am I? <laughs> so no, I know. <laughs> I get it. I, 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 I quite often get it. Say, you can't see anything you do, and no, I know. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, thanks. So there we go. Um, so we're knitting, casting on in cream, knitting a row, and then doing a row of bobbles, mm. and then doing another row, and then changing colour to blue, and then you knit your, your next bobbles, and then you cast off. So they, they look a lot more complicated, perhaps, than they are. It's, it's just a lovely technique. Um, this such a nice simple way of making a bobble. I quite like things like that though because you have to really think about it but so therefore it's not like knit 25 centimetres is it? Yeah, exactly. You have to really think about your little bubble. Yeah like and then we were another saying, little bubble. gives you a nice it gives some interest to knitters who have knitted for a long time but if you haven't done a huge amount of knitting mm. actually as long as you can knit you can do all of the stitches. Okay you we've can got a do question from Sadie. Yeah. Oh on the bottom. Hi all. Lovely knitted toys. I noticed that the toys legs and arms are stuffed only at the bottom. Will the stuffing move around or is it secured? Um, it isn't secured. Um, however, what you've got, well, I say it isn't secured. If I use this one because the contrast is quite, is quite good on Lucy the Unicorn. You've, you've knitted the foot. Yeah. The hoof. The hoof. The hoof. <laughs> And then you've done a decrease here. You've got a decrease before you change colour. Yes, I can so see actually, that on the rabbit yeah, as well. So it gives it like a little, it's all, yeah, exactly on the rabbit. You've got almost like a little. You can feel it, yeah. Look, you can see like it more a on little the hoof. Ball, yeah, like a little ball 
where you've got some decreasing. Mm. So once you've stuffed it, no, it won't move around no. because because it's held there by that it, by, by, that the, by the fact that you've got the yeah. decrease. No, it's lovely. That's really clever, isn't it? Yeah. And it's the same on the cat as well. So the decrease just holds it. Yeah. I mean, I guess oh, I don't know. Would it shift around? Probably. I mean, could, if you were, if you put it in the washing machine, yes, which I do not so you might have to shovel it back again. <laughs> yeah, you would perhaps have to reshape it. But if you just hand wash these um, and then put them on a really short, a really gentle spin to get rid of the excess water, mm. then you might have to do a tiny bit of reshaping. But yeah. but I don't think so. I mean, I've knitted loads and crocheted loads of these sorts of animals, and that's never been. And they does it doesn't shift. No, never been a concern. No. Well, but also this soft toy stuffing, you know, it's quite, it's stick, it's not sticky, but it's very fibrous, exactly. that's a better word. Yeah. Very fibrous. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so it, it is. will attach to itself. It is. And because you've got the merino as well, that's, although it's incredibly soft, you have got the fibres. It's, it's a, it's a, um, a sheep fibre, a wool fibre. So it will have that slightly clinging effect yes, to yeah. some of the um, to the. It's to got the a stuffing. really nice twist to it, hasn't it? It really does. Yeah, I love it. I love the fact that it's, you know, you're going to knit this. They're going to last a really long time. They're going to be well loved. They're going to last a long time because this yarn is so beautiful. It's been twisted and spun really nicely. It's, yeah. not going, it's not going to. It's not going to be one of those ones that you knit up and then it loses its shape and form. No, apart, these are going. You know? These are for a forever Absolutely toy, lovely. aren't they? Yeah, I really love so. them. Well, thank you so much, Carrie. I mean, that's really explained it so it's been well an to us. Absolute pleasure. Thank you so really much. Really nice. Well, yeah, I mean, I think. Well, I've learned loads, loads and loads. It's been brilliant, but really nice to have it sort of unpicked and shown mm. how you do it. So it's the patterns good. are written so nicely. Don't be afraid that you're. If you can knit and pearl. You yeah, I'm, and most some of them you don't even need pearl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Really thank kind you of so you. much. So I'm going to just have a quick run through through the kits, starting with the mink Chloe cat. I've got to find the right box, and the reason for that is because she's today's bestseller and is about to still and is in the last box. So uh, there are when everyone has checked out of their baskets, there won't be any left. So if you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. Or there won't be any left. She's lovely. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. I've smacked the mic with the with the cat head. She's lovely though, isn't she? So if she is in your basket, you need to check out. But we do have her in grey. And in the kit you get obviously the full instructions, which as Carrie has said, are fantastic. Um, this beautiful merino acrylic mixed yarn, which means it's super soft, but it's also machine washable. You get the stuffing, the wool needle. If you, you've got the little, little black bit for the nose and the claws and the eyes. I like the whiskers on the cat. Um, bunny, 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 bunny. So the pink bunny. Now the pink bunny and the gray bunny are level pegging. They are equally popular. Beautiful. Look at the ears. Maybe it's like a lop-eared bunny, aren't they? Those really super long bunnies. Gorgeous, aren't they? So in the bunny kit, you get the full instructions, all coming packaged in this beautiful gift box. Nice to keep in while keep you knitting in while you're doing it, but it's a beautiful gift box. So if you knit this for somebody, you can then put the finished animal into the box and gift it to them, and it can become its special bed which I know if you gave that to a child in the box, it would become its special bed, especially if you made it a little quilt <laughs> or knitted it a little blanket. It would become its special bed. But what a lovely gift for somebody, either as the unfinished or the finished. So you've got three balls of the pink yarn cream. You've got the grey and the black that you need the stuffing and the needle. And it, and I like the way that um, Woolcature have had this yarn made specially for them in Yorkshire. It's a proper British wool, but it's... Merino and acrylic mix, so you get the softness that's beautiful for toys, but acrylic so you can machine wash it. That's the pink bunny. Um, grey bunny, obviously the instructions. And with the grey bunny, you get pink for the nose, black for the eyes, you get the wool needle. Um, but with all of the kits that we've got, if it's in your basket, you really need to check out. The kits are very limited and as I said before if it's in your basket it's a bit like being in the supermarket people can take it out of your basket and run to the checkout so um, you do need to check out 
Once it's checked out, it is yours, I promise, but you do need to check it out. Then there's Grey Robin. Now, the octopuses um, are... Yeah, the world, there's more people with these in baskets than have checked out. So if it's in your basket, you need to check out very, very quickly. You get the grey octopus, which comes with two balls of grey yarn, two cream, black for the eyes, a wool needle, all the stuffing, a free gift box to present Robin in. And then the blue Robin, which looks like this one, okay, with the blue yarn and the cream yarn and black, all sorts. But I don't know who's going to get their octopus, but if yours is in your basket, you need to check out. And then very, very finally, we've got Lucy Unicorn which is in this kit, which is um, almost gone too. So, oh, there are only 12 Lucys left. So, well, nearly, nearly, nearly finished. So thank you so much for joining us today on Yarn Lane. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you've learned something with us today. We're back on Wednesday with the rerun of some of the West Yorkshire spinners kits that we keep selling out of, but we've got them back again. So please do join us on www.yarnlane.com on Wednesday. We're also back on air on Friday and Sunday this week. A little change to normal. But um, thanks for joining us and I hope you get the kit and check out and please share photos of your finished makes us because we always love to see them. But thank you. Bye bye.